guys, welcome to Online Connect where we come to talk, learn and laugh. So on episode 2 of the relationship series, we are going to be talking about accountability partners. We are talking about who is an accountability partner and how do we get to choose the right accountability partners for us. First, we are going to be talking about our experiences and thoughts with or as accountability partners. So when we are talking about accountability partners, this is someone who will guide you through the important years of your life. So speaking of experiences, I've been an accountability partner before. And one thing about an accountability partner, it's someone who has to be trustworthy, someone who will be ready to listen to you and also give good advice while at it. So Tuzangu on accountability partner, ilo kitu ya kwanza na kuja wa kichwa, ilo sayo lukonga high school hapo, kiwanga hapo morning preps, lukona ule mtu lukona mambia, kisikia mwode ya kitokea, mshitule kidogo, angalao ni amke. Ama ukiwa hapo na notes na wambia ili chiki, sinasijamaleza notes za uwe mwode lakini kifika hapo morning preps hapo kabla daro ifiki, kumbushe. Kumbushe nize kuandikezo notes sababu hapo najua nisipoandika na kama ni KM, najua nisipo ziandika hili, ngori. So, juzangu sa kwa relationship, kwa accountability partner ita kwa mtu, atakuwa na kusaidia, atakuwa na kuweza kusaidia uwone zile vipuwe uwone hiyo wakati. Kama labda umechanganikiwa hapo, Mwengia, mwengia dani sana. Kwa relationship, uoni be, ala kusidia kufunue macho kwa mbi, hapa bila unaenda sana. Mugusa breaks. You see yourself, you see your life. You've seen that an accountability partner is someone who helps you see the danger ahead when you're too blinded to see it, whether in relationships, friendships, anything. So now we are going to have a guest who is going to talk about um, the characteristics of a right accountability partner, how to choose an accountability partner, and probably also his experience with or as an accountability partner. Lord Tongelea, characteristics of an accountability partner. Moja ni one, the main one ni you should share the common beliefs. Kama una amini ni mungu, pia ya kwe hapo. Lakini isikuwe ye ni atheist, alafu we pia una amini God, alafu unadhani. Mtapatana, hiyo, hiyo pia haita wa happen. So ya pili ni commitment. Uyo accountability partner wako, lazima wako committed to you in one way or the other. So lazima mkue in a relationship as such. Kue tu your friend, they are committed to you. Yani, uneza mambia kitu, na atakuwa hapo for you. So conviction, hiyo ndo attack. Lazima umusea kue willing kukua hapo. Lazima kue willing kusimama hapo. Ukitaku tiga simu, lazima kue willing kuchukua hiyo simu. Chukue tu mtu. Ati kila saa ni miss call, miss call, enafo na kutext, sorry, what were you saying? Sikuwe hivyo ya mecheke. Ingine ni lazima umse pia kwa na karakta. Unajua, usichukua tu mtu blunt, tu mtu, mtu wakuna kitu, mtu empty, juu, mtu empty ya takusaidia na nina ya na kitu wa kukupea, unacheke? Lazima pia kwa na, na kakitu kati, unawana? Na pia kwa na courage. Courage kwanza ni important, ndi wako allow tizo maufala unafana, unacheke? Kifanya wa vitu hivi ya nashu, hey man. Stop it, stop it. Take it, na potea. Check. Lafu pia lazima kwa na clarity. Lazima pia kwa na jijua, na kwa na clarity. Kama mko devoted to God, pia lazima kwa na clarity ya God. Ndi wata kikupe advice, asi kupotoze. Asi kuja kupati ya vasa hiko. Kona. Hey, atidue ile. Kuna ile, kuna ile watu sema sana. Nisu haje. Ile lazima work and your God pia kubless. Masi mangu wa haji. Clarity, clarity. Tutakamba. Clarity, clarity. Clarity. Alafu last but not least ni compassion. Lazima wakue willing. Hato kifanya yo mistake. Hame kwa device usifanya. Hakue hapo kusikiza ukilia. Umeachwa. Lazima wakue hapo kusikiza. Umekosea umumia, lazima kwa hapo pia kuna compassion na kwa neza kukukomfort. Kakiuma? Kakiuma ana. Yes. Any question? Yeah. So now, this accountability partner, ni a must akwe ame have a successful relationship ama aneza kuwa tu mtu pia jawai kwa ina relationship na kwa an accountability partner in the relationship setting. So kiasi kama hiyo, kuna venye pia Ineza saidia sana mtu wakiwa mwaiku ina. Ako ama ako in a very successful relationship. Kwa sababu, you cannot give love when you don't have love within your family. So, wezi kujo uniambia venye relationship inafaikuwe na 
Hauna hata high experience unajua and a successful and a successful yeah. so yes yes unaweza nipea tips on how the relationship can be good and everything but if I'm going a successful one in a ni more helpful jua kona more experience and ajua more yes so like is here to discredit to you haja kuwa anaweza kuwa advice yake ni same advice yake iko correct iko sawa but ule akona experience yake ni ita touch home more Yeah, the land more. <laughs> <laughs> so for your point ya yeah, accountability part. So upate mtu amekuwa kama relationship ni mashida tu, mashida after another, one after another. Eh bado anaweza kusaidia. Unajua it depend na nini unataka kusoma. Kama yako ni mashida after mashida, si atakufunza mashida after mashida. Ama unataka kufunza success na yeye aje success, yeye anaje tu kufail. Unajua zende ya mtu, sema mimi ninachimbanga hapa, date of washimo. Mtumie achimba pale ametobojimu utakuja kwa hiyo kuonesha kitu kutobojimu hajui kutoboa haja itoboa hemu eh yes anajua venye anajua zile tu zufai kutumia jua alitumia pengine panga haikuwa katakusho usitumie panga lakini hata kaambia nini utumie itoboa no ule mwenye ametoboa atakwambia usitumie panga tumia hii itoboa no hiyo ndo different so mtu ukitafuta accountability partner kwa points zenye umepeana ni nini inafaa kwa ime stand out kabisa because hizo pointe nyume sema zote ziko valid but ni kitu gani specific me as an individual i'm supposed to like check out when looking for someone who will like be with me like through the journey of- for me ile anaweza sema ni mshe the common belief you kama kama unaamini kama mnaamini god nyinyi wawili mm-hmm. inafai kuwe tuseme hiyo ndio inafai kuwe dominant sana hizi zingine yes zinaweza company but tuseme kama mna share common belief you wezi kuwa unaamini ile ni kiti na mimi na nasema hii ni meza alafu tuko hadi sasa nina ku advise hii ni hii ni kiti unaona <laughs> at least to share tuko tuko na common ground tuko tunajua this is wrong this is right alafu sasa from there tunaweza build hizi zingine naweza kusaidia ku correct you tunaona the same tunaona the same yes so all in all tuki tukitafuta accountability partners tukumbuke tukumbuke all the things that we list na pia tuko careful on people who we choose jo anaweza kuwa na hizo qualities lakini kuna vitu zingine pia za ku consider there are many other factors so kama venye bible inatuambia in proverbs 11:14 where no wise guidance is the people follow but in the multitude of counselors there is safety yani pale kuna watu wanaweza ku guide iko safety lakini pale kama una unatembea tu hii treacherous road yenye tunatumia anga na hauna wise counsel you can fall That's all we had for today on accountability partners. Remember to share, like and subscribe and stay tuned for part 3 of our relationship series.